Welcome back. Hey everybody, we are back again. More half-ass review. This time, we're looking at something from Anvil. At least I can't think it's from Anvil. Give it a sec. You'll see it here in a second. I know my timing is way off, but hey. It is the Terrapin. Yeah, Anvil. Anvil Terrapin. A lot smaller than I expected it to be, really. When I first looked at it, I thought it was a lot bigger than this, but... Nope, mm-mm, no, no. It is a neat little guy. It's one of the many ships that... I, I always say the few ships, but I've, I've learned there's more than I thought originally that have this feature, but it's one of the many ships that actually have, like, good VTOL going on with it right now, where it actually has an actual, like, animation with the VTOL, and as well as that, it has, uh... I think it actually has like functionality with the an with with the animation. Like when it's in this mode, it go up faster. When it when it's not in this mode, it go forward faster. There's the door. Yeah, it took me a minute to find the door on this thing, but it is a little bit more obvious than I'm just making it seem. There we have the lonely seat. That is the scanner seat. I call it the lonely seat because it looks really lonely where it is. It has a lot of openable panels so you can access the, uh, the little components, but you know, you can't really do much with those. And you can't really scan right now, so I didn't really get in it and scan anything. Go ahead and uh, get this thing out into space so we can see what the inside looks like a little bit better and not have to worry about time. We'll be right back. All right, well, I expected to take off and go into space and not worry about the ship getting like called off and on me but I guess we're foregoing that we're just gonna look around here there's the gun rack I believe that in the middle is where you store armor uh, get better look at these little lockers that hold shit uh, that one's locked and even though it's my ship it's locked to me I don't know how to unlock it I don't really care either Apparently I care a lot about things that I don't really need to care about. Oh look, more component housing that I don't need to look at. Oh, let's look at that. The shield generator. Sweet. Awesome. There's another one. <laughs> oh no, look down. There you go. Yeah, look at the cooler. The other cooler. Yeah. Can't... Kind of look at every little component. There's a bed over there in the corner, by the way. I don't think I'm ever going to get around to looking at it, so I just pointed it out on the fly. And that'd be the pilot seat. And again, that little seat in the middle, it's all covered in red. That's that scanner seat. It goes up like a turret, and then you can scan in 360. Well, your friend can, while you fly. It is an exploration vessel, a pathfinder, if you will. Whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. <laughs> but anyhow, I think pathfinders are like really just meant to be ex exploration vessels that are particularly good at travel. Not really much else. Like, i.e., this thing has a scanner and has a good jump range and all that. But we're going to take off here. Fly, boy. Fly. There we go. Yeah, it took a minute to get this thing off the ground. <laughs> Alright. And just to let you know, this is uh, pre-3.17 being released. But this is the 3.17 from the PTU. Almost the same patch as what everybody is playing on the PU right now. Uh, this having been released around the time that 3.17 had just come out the day before. So, you see there the engines are facing back, then they go down. Yay, now it kind of looks like a turtle. I guess that's why it's called a terrapin. Oh well. It does look like a turtle. Turtle, turtle. Go up. 
Go ahead, hit them thrusters forward again, buddy. Do it. Do it. Go forward. Yeah, there you go. Good job. And now go forward fast. Alright, well, let's go ahead and take it out to space and get some more looks at it. Alright, here we get some look at it while it's in uh, its little light cruise down to the surface of or, well, uh, 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 Microtech here. <laughs> get the little blue hue around it. Look at them clouds. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful clouds. Yes, so pretty. We fly around, and let's just do some flying for a bit. Meanwhile, while flying, let's go ahead and take a quick look at that Urkel too. All right. Well, first thing I'm going to say is hopefully you don't find too many people out in the middle of nowhere when you're uh, pathfinding, because all you have are these uh, XJ2s. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not nothing. Not far from nothing. <laughs> uh, got an EOS quantum drive, which I would upgrade. I mean, it's not bad. No, it's not a bad quantum drive, but you know, you, you could do better. Uh, the ch uh, Chimali, five MA Chimalis on the shields. So size two shields. If you want to feel a little more safe at home, uh, you know, slap them military grade ones on there. Oh, you see? See? Even the guy who's controlling my mouse there is even saying to, to switch it over to an Atlas. Uh, power plant, you got a daybreak. Should be plenty enough for anything that you really do to this thing, probably. Don't think you need to worry about a cooler, but it's got three size ones. <laughs> There's not really a whole lot you need to worry about as far as this ship's uh, stats go, except that it costs 2.5 million at Astro Armada, Ar uh, Astro Armada in Area 18. And yeah, I just I got a little bored there. Started playing. Oh yeah, sweet. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Alright, going back to the- Oh my god, how'd you make it all the way out here so fast? You know what? Nope. I'm not even gonna ask questions. Just enjoy your flight, dude. Get some good shots. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna ask too many questions. So, you get a little peek there at the that little red section where you can kind of see inside the ship. Uh, when you do have someone sitting inside that scanner, that little top round part does pop up a little. And it kind of like indicates that there's someone in there. Oh, no more shots. Um, let's see if we can find some more shots somewhere. Give me a second, okay? Looks like he's trying to find something over in Horizon. Oh god. What's wrong with him? He's a masochist. All right, well, before we have another lapse of better judgment, let's just go ahead and uh, say, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe and come back for more. Um, this is Pink Dust Mammoth saying, have a good summer, everyone. Well, a good spring. I guess it's not really summer yet, is it? It's getting there. It's getting close. At least for here in the States. Uh, people elsewhere in the world Whatever season it is for you, happy good that season. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed. You have a good one. See ya.